the building. It's brilliant. So the, the people on this bus will be looking at your faces at Piccadilly Circus. I think you're going to be cheering up a lot of shoppers this evening. They look brilliant. So you're famous. You're out there already on a giant screen. But I think we need to understand how screens like this one work. So if our cameraman was to zoom in even further onto these screens, we'd see something that looked a little bit like this. We'd have hundreds of LEDs or light emitting diodes all arranged in a grid. So on this screen we have 32 by 32 pixels or picture elements. And I should be able to display anything on this screen. So I should be able to just show you some information that I have already on my laptop. Or I could just show you what's, what's in my picture gallery or what's on my desktop. And you can see all of these LEDs are reacting to what I'm doing on the laptop. So if our aim is to turn our skyscraper into a giant screen, I think working out how our small screen works is a pretty sensible first step. But how do you turn a light bulb on if you have a grid of lights? Well, if we zoom in even further and take just a 4x4 four four section of our grid, we can just see the basic elements, which are really just some light bulbs. Then we'd need a mechanism of making them turn on and off. Now, I could just build a, light, a switch for every light bulb I have, and that's okay for this because I'd only need 16. But for my screen here, I'd need 32 by 32, which is 1,024 switches. And for the Piccadilly screen that we've just seen, wow, I'd need hundreds of thousands of switches. So it's not very efficient. So I think we need to understand how screens actually display an image. So I need a volunteer to come and help me do this. So yes, you down here. OK. <laughs> Are you coming? Charlie. OK, Charlie. We stand here. OK. Now, Charlie, um, we've got a light here that's already switched on. OK. If we wanted, say, to light this bulb, what do you think we'd have to do? Um, have you got any idea? Make a switch for that bulb. Yeah, so we've got these two things here. Oh. What do you think we could do? Um, well, they've got a little down on them, so move it. Yeah, go on and try moving that on it. Brilliant. Yeah. And if I do the same with this one, it moves it across there. Excellent. So we've managed to go from here to here. Good. And if we want to go back to there, mm -hmm. what would we have to do? Move that one again. Move this one again. So all we've done is just given this switch a different message. So, and the clever thing about this is, Charlie's only had to use two switches to do this. And this is how small screens work and actually much larger screens. The computer breaks down our picture into pixels and tells our switches which lights to light up. But Charlie, I think we've got a bit of a problem here because we can turn one light on, but how do we turn all the lights on at the same time? How do you think we could do that? Can we do it with this? Um, I'm not sure if we could do it with this. What about if you move that really, really fast? Would that work? Well, yeah. Well, try it, bit. yeah? Should we try it? We like just trying things, so you try that one. Okay. Yeah, and I'll try this one. Now you see, well, we're definitely moving it. We're definitely switching that light. And maybe if you switched fast enough, we might see an image. But I don't think you and I are going to be able to switch fast enough here, are we? No. So I think I'm going to need something else to help me. I think I'm going to need a bicycle to help me explain this. But thank you very much, Charlie. You were an excellent computer. Thank you.